All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. So we were uh, fixing the window. Now we gotta find some boards. Hey, I think. Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Like Burt Reynolds. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. T true. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And for those shorts, <laughs> then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Tuxedo as often as possible. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> mm, <laughs> no deal, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Um, I have a thick beard. My nose has been broken. You'll enjoy my thin mustache and long scar. I know it's not easy. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're oh. what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Steely, happy, tired. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Hmm. I'm kind of interested to see uh, her drawing of me. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you fuck been around, do fuck all. Tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. Oh, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest hey. depends on you. Oh, boy, okay, that was the end of that day. Holy crap. There's no D9. Nice. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California oh, no. who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen him. I'm happy to be questioned. I didn't do anything. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? It's worth I, mentioning. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Yeah, I don't blame you. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Speaking of...
<laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> I didn't get the picture. Uh. Henry. Henry, wake up. What's going on? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Wait, what, Julia? I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. What? Mm -hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. What the fuck was that? I thought it was Delilah. Hike north to retrieve Is supplies. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Nice. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Ooh. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be really? great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Oh my god. Six prunes a day? So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Oh. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. <laughs> he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. Oh my god. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. Oh, no. For some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, oh. he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Oh, no. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Yeah, I think so. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Moss Peak, Two Forks, Spruce. And day report heading home. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64. Man, we're just plowing through these days now. 
I guess they're just uneventful. Oh no. Got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Oh yeah, no. It's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Oh. About the big fire, the flapjack fire. How about Delilah? So, no ideas, huh? I kind of want to do Delilah, but Come I feel on, like that's just too much. Something creative in that brain of yours. Delilah sounds like it would fit, but flapjack fire would be funny. I guess you're in one of your quiet moods. I guess Delilah would be a little too personal. Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Can you see? Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. The flapjack fire. That's awesome. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? I love to take oh, a bottle fuck. of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Oh, that's genius. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot... I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. Don't want to get too personal. Yes. Keep Are keep you it friendly. Fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Hmm. Uh... Um, Interesting. Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. Oh shit! That may have been. Outside. That may have been a little we too personal. Talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. Oh man, I this is. I feel like this is getting a little too personal. What? What could we do? Day 76. I feel like it's getting a little too personal. I don't know. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Noise. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just... Let me know what you find. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east. And, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Noise. Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. What? Ugh. Can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save that for later. Definitely picking these up. Because we got to confiscate those. I'm surprised that they're still here. Because we picked them up when we found the girls. Unless those are just new. But it's a little weird that they would be sitting in the exact same position. Holy crap, this got thicker. Okay. Hey, <laughs> we're at the leak. What's this? Clipboard. 
Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. It looks like someone's giving uh, tabs. Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Would you kill Paul McCartney to bring back to out here? Okay, strange Henry. noise for King. I'm worried. Here for the jolly fireworks all night. You didn't Would you find and eat any Absolutely mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh God, I don't know why I just called you that. What the hell? What is that? I found a walkie-talkie out here too. It's going shit house. Well, get it if you Oh, what the fuck? What? Yo, what?